Greetings everybody and welcome to the Learning Adobe Dreamweaver CS5 series. This will be the second video lesson in a series of lessons that will train you on how to use Adobe Dreamweaver CS5. Today's lesson will introduce you to the basics of HTML and how it's used within Adobe Dreamweaver CS5. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. HTML and the first web browser were invented by a scientist in the early 90s named Tim Berners-Lee. HTML is essentially the underlying source code language behind web pages. When you look at a web page on the internet, the web browser you are using to view that web page is, act is actually rendering HTML source code in the background for you. For example, I'm looking at the Microsoft home page right here. If I scroll down, I see all this graphic, all this content, and all this text. The web browser is rendering the HTML source code in the background for you. If I go, if I right click and I go to view page source, and you can see the HTML code that's being rendered here. You have head tag, title tag, HTML tag down up here, meta tags, okay. You have, you know, anchor tags, div tags, um, you have list being created using HTML. Okay, so all of this is being rendered by the web browser to bring you uh, this web page. Okay. HTML is relatively easy to learn and master. Basically, HTML consists of less than 100 code elements, such as HTML, head, body, H1, P, and so on. HTML elements are used to enclose text and graphics to enable a web browser to display them in a specific way. Many of these elements are used to create page structures, others to format text, and others enable interactivity and programmability. HTML markup consists of an opening and closing tag. Tags are enclosed within the lesser than and greater than brackets. You create a closing tag by repeating the original tag and typing a forward slash after the opening tag. We will see examples of this later when we create our basic HTML page layout. HTML is not owned by Adobe nor does the .htm or .html extensions are exclusive to Adobe Dreamweaver. HTML does not belong to any individual program or company. It is a plain text language that can be edited in any text editor, in any operating system, on any computer. Adobe Dreamweaver is an HTML editor you can use to create and edit HTML, but you can use many other programs to create and edit HTML as well. For example, for this lesson, we will, con we will create a basic web page layout using HTML, using Notepad, and then recreate the same layout using Adobe Dreamweaver so we can see the difference. Okay, so right now I have Notepad open and like I said, in this lesson, we're going to create a basic web page layout using standard HTML, uh, standard tables, uh, and put some list uh, on, 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 the, on our new web page. Uh, this will demonstrate to you uh, just how easy and how basic HTML is. Okay, and then we're going to take um, this same web page layout, we're going to redo it in uh, Adobe Dreamweaver. 
and see the difference in uh, you know writing straight HTML code using a text editor like Notepad uh, to basically teach you the basic structure of HTML and then doing it on, in Adobe Dreamweaver using uh, the resources and features that Adobe Dreamweaver provides us to create um, web pages okay so I'm gonna come here I'm gonna first create the basic structure for an HTML uh, page so at the top I'm gonna do my opening HTML tag I'm gonna hit enter come down here do the closing HTML tag go back up here put the head tag closing head tag oops I'm sorry closing closing head tag okay go back up here and make this the opening head tag I'm gonna come here and put a title tag title closing title tag okay down here have the body then close out the body okay okay this right here is a basic structure of an HTML uh, web page uh, basically everything all your content will go in between here the between the body tags uh, the head tag is reserved for uh, programming programming scripts such as JavaScript meta tags uh, description tags things that describe your uh, web page or your website uh, you can also include the title tag up here uh, let's give this title tag a, a content between it my first web page okay okay and now uh, we're gonna save this when you're using notepad or any other um, uh, text based uh, program to create HTML web pages you have to save for instance here I'm choosing all files you have to save your web page as uh, a .html okay or .htm that tells the browser that by by those extensions that tell the browser that this is a uh, web document this is a web page so let's call this my first web page dot HTML okay so I'm gonna save this to the desktop okay and let's just quickly put something in here let's say hello every body okay and let's just you know make this h1 this is a hair we, we just tell the we're telling the web browser to make hello everybody uh, a header okay we're gonna save okay and then here it is my first web page we're gonna double click it's gonna come up and there you go hello everybody okay so as you can see I can come you know I can come here and remove that and save I'll refresh and it's gone okay so with the basic structure created let's go ahead and create this web page layout okay 